everybody, this is Ginger here. <coughs> Sorry. Ginger here. Uh, Kim Strant show here in Lakewood, and it's partly cloudy, pretty windy, and 54 degrees. Yes, it's very windy. Um, so I hope we don't lose any trees. Uh, otherwise, I hope everybody is okay, and, <laughs> sorry, how are you going to be again? Sorry, my cat got me up at 6, 6, 6.30 this morning. <laughs> you know how that goes when you have pets. So, hey, Virginia, how's my counterpart? Um, so anyway, um, had some kept hearing some interesting tidbits and news that's going on. And also, I voted. So, I am good and it's done off and it will get there by the 8th, between now and the 8th, and uh, it will get counted. Um, so anyway, in the news, uh, as I said in my title, let's vote and do it often. Do it, you know, every chance you get to vote. Uh, it's very important. It's a citizen's job to vote. You have to take it seriously, which I do. And um, yeah, I didn't realize it came to mail on Saturday, but I picked it up today because Picked up, yeah, picked up my mail today because, sorry, I was really busy. Um, so anyway, be sure to vote right way. Vote for your peace of mind. Vote liberal. Vote democratic. Don't vote GOP. Those guys, they're such a poor quality sense of candidate that you're not really qualified to do anything. And, uh, like Huckabee, Sarah Huckabee, well, she wants to be governor of Arkansas. Well, she has to start at the bottom, okay, and work her way up. Start at city council, um, you know, run for offices and local offices, local and then state, and then go federal or go, you know, state, like, up to governor then move into other jobs as well. But she needs to learn a lot of things and she needs to review her civics as well. And just for an example. Um, and if you're not sure about civics, how government works, just do research and look it up. You know, I think, I'm pretty sure things have not changed. I'm sure they do have a list of amendments that have been revoked or amended or, you know, added on to or revised. Um, states revise their constitutions all the time. Hey, Dorothy! Um, we're getting a lot of heavy wind here today, Dorothy. So it's probably going to be a little bit... It's saying windy. <laughs> But it'll clear out all the smoke and everything else and space. We had rain last night. We rain over the weekend. It really helped on our air quality. And so the air is much fresher. Cleaner, scrubbed. Um, it's much better. And as I stated, the trees are much happier. <laughs> they're bright green and they're standing up straight and everything. So, anyway, that's... That part I just discovered on voting. Um, and other things. Uh, like I said, it's been a busy weekend of uh, rocket launches for science and space exploration. People kind of poo poo that and say, well, it's a waste of money, where it really isn't. When they develop things, uh, you know, like when they developed your, developed the cell phone, your iPad, um, your computer. 
that eventually turn into your own personal stuff. This is how things progress and advance. Uh, on, was it Friday? No, Saturday. Uh, India did its first successful launch from its space agency uh, complex of one web for their weather and farming satellites. India did. Um, because there is really no satellites covering their general area. Hey, Carol! Uh, general area. So they're able to do, keep track on the weather, which they've been really getting some real nasty storms, such as cyclones. And a lot of their cyclones don't give Indian citizens in India a chance to get the safety. So they're working on that. Uh, so if it was a new one web satellite, it would really help them a lot, including home farming and everything else, and when the rains are going to come, it's, you know, better weather prediction is what it is for them, and they really need it, because you hear it on the news and see it on the news with them having cyclones hitting them every which way it comes, and... Those guys never have a chance to uh, recover from that. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I've been up since 6 30 this morning. Uh, also, uh, SpaceX has been launching some uh, weather satellites as well, uh, or launching some satellites, especially Starlink. And, um, I have not heard anything more on what Elon Musk is going to do if he, if he could have somebody run Twitter for him. Uh, but he's got two other companies. Uh, and those two other companies besides SpaceX, it's not within the space exploration category. There are different categories. Uh, some of the uh, House and Senators are frowning on them doing this, and I'm going, well, if you really look at the different categories or different industries they're in, he's not really monopolizing. Monopolizing means that half the products or the companies have to be within the same industry. That's monopolizing. For example, uh, Facebook got really paranoid and other platform, social platforms came online and so he bullied them and he bought them out. And that's why we only have very few social platforms compared to now. Uh, the other social platforms are fighting back against him and saying, look, competition doesn't hurt. And you want healthy competition within in industry. Uh, so, you know, like we have, um, oh, hold on a minute. Facebook, 
Instagram, Twitter, um, oh, what's the other one? Tribble, which is a new social platform for liberal, for liberal, uh, users. Um, they fall in the category of social platforms. And it's what's really frowned upon by Stack, which is Security Exchange Commission that regulates corporations. Uh, they frown upon industrial espionage. That's why you have strong copyright laws within each of these companies. Um, but they can't go in and other company can't, rival company can't go in and try something before they get caught and they're thrown in prison. Um, so anyway, um, anything else. Oh, and of course, you know, as usual, he who shall not be named is still throwing at his success. He's been served a subpoena. He has to honor it. He'd be forced to honor it. And if he doesn't, they should treat him like everybody else. Arrest him and throw him in jail. Uh, if he won't cooperate. Uh, oh, I'm sure that A.G. Garland is, he's documenting everything, and Trump's finding out he can't do what he wants to do. Very hard. He's, right now, his base, his maggot base, what does that call them? Very little now. It's trickling down. His rallies are like, uh, one rally, I guess, over the weekend, as soon as he appeared and he started speaking, people finally woke up and just walked out. Um, he keeps saying the same thing over and over again, keeps saying the same excuses, the same lies, and there's nothing new. Um, anytime he's had a rally for a GOP candidate, he spoils it for that candidate. Because he makes it all about him. He doesn't make it about that candidate. He doesn't talk about that candidate or that candidate's ideas. And he doesn't talk about that. He talks about himself and the lives he's done. And people are now, I think, are starting to wake up and realizing that this guy's an idiot. No. And of course, you still have some hardcore idiots that still haven't woken up. And sooner or later, a 2 by 4 will drop on their head. It will. So, um, I'm sure all our candidates are <coughs> Democratic candidates will win. Um, things in uh, your neck of the woods. Uh, here I'm getting high winds. I don't, have, I don't know how high our winds are. Let me check something. Hold on a second. Uh, oh, come on. Cooperate. Just a minute. I'm going to disappear just for a second. You can still hear me. Um, uh, I didn't say. Let's see what's the wind. Ah, okay. Okay, it said the winds here are 50 mile an hour gusts. <laughs> so a lot of things are going to be blowing around. Um, so 
No, don't worry about being late, Nancy. <coughs> and I will still work on, I'm still working on my website, uh, my store. It takes some doing. So, uh, that's going to happen later this afternoon and tomorrow. <coughs> now, uh, I'm okay for the next week for doing my rants. Let's see. Hold on a minute. my personal stuff that I have to do and everything. Um, week from the Thursdays, Darren will go ahead and see the bat and get her suggestion what should be done about smoking or Cerno. Cerno, anytime I give him his medication, he eats a little bit and then he throws up. Uh, poor baby. And he's, you know, approaching 14 years old. And, uh, it'll be 14 next month. That's pretty old for a cat. That's equivalent to, let's see, uh, call up the cat calculator. He's 14 years old, but let's see. Times seven, he'd be a 98 year old man, and that's old for cat. So, anyway, as far as the political thing goes, you don't see or hear, you notice that the GOP has been very, very subtle and very quiet. Uh, they're not. <coughs> They're not fight, fighting as hard. Um, I think they know that they lost of all the mistakes that they made. And I think sooner or later, karma will go and bite them. And, and I know things will change. Um, they keep worry, uh, there's a worry about fast but try again. Fast issue is, and I can't pronounce it very well. Uh, fast is things. Um, and we dealt with this well over 70, 80 years ago. Uh, so it needs to be kept in check. Um, and we need to, you need to start uh, communicating with your representative and your senator. Write them a note. Go, go to the government website and look up your senator or representative. And they do have, it depends on what committee that they belong to, what committee they were assigned to. Talk to them regarding their committee, but also talk to them in general on stuff. And they could help refer that problem or say, hey, there's a problem here that needs to be addressed and maybe we need to introduce a new bill to address that new problem. You know, um, that's how it thing, that's how change comes about. You, you crowd out, if you talk loud and, loud and long enough, you crowd out the corporations and you need to remind your senators and your representatives that they work for you. They don't work for corporations. And corporations are not people. It's just an entity. And, uh, hey, Jesse! Hey! Good seeing you! Glad to see you back. How you feeling, Jesse? Any better now? I hope. Um, uh, that's rough stuff, Elliot. I remember about six years ago, six, seven years ago, um, no, more like 
13 or 14 years ago, uh, 13 years ago, I came down one day with walking pneumonia, and I did not know I had it. Hey, Nose. Anyway, um, yeah, and be active in platforms like this, interact with the host, and, um, you know, and push back on Facebook and say, look, you said, you stated you want to bring friends and people together, right? then stop dictating to those what they can and cannot do as far as the truth goes. Uh, when somebody puts out the truth, so be it. It's the truth. It's just I just don't like lies or things that are not You know, just tell Facebook stop throwing people in in Facebook jail just for putting out the truth. And stop using algorithms. Use real people, real common sense. Don't push your ideas on people. Don't push your politics on people. Let people make up their own minds. I don't know if any of you, probably some of you may remember. Remember Walter Cronkite? Uh, I love his ending saying, that's the way it is. In other words, he's saying, I'm letting you make up your mind what you think, what you believe in. I'm just putting the facts out there, what's happened. Um, and he's always been uh, viewed as He's been quoted, he's been infectionally called Uncle Walter. <laughs> um, so, <coughs> anyway, just work on, on the voting, uh, push back, uh, and push back at the trolls. Once you confront the trolls, and they keep repeating the same stupid stuff, confront the trolls, Push back at them. You're not giving them attention. You're pushing back at them. And you know, say, you know what? If you don't stop this lying and stop this crap, we will block you. And they will, and then they will be reported. I don't like trolls either, and I don't like hackers, and I don't like. Uh, I don't like the quote unquote when they call Karen. Uh, the people that are so ignorant that they don't realize that it's causing issues with other things. So, okay, well, it's 125, and I hope I don't lose power here. This is not like where I used to live, where. Um, there was a real possibility of losing power, which we have often. Um, but here they do their best to prevent the lines from going down and everything. So I'm in a good neighborhood. I'm not all that far from Clover Park High School, which is down that way. Um, so anyway, uh, have a wonderful evening. Uh, root for your favorite uh, football and baseball team. Uh, congrats to the Philadelphia Phillies for winning the American League Championship. And of course, Houston won the National League Championship. I was hoping New York would win, but uh, We'll see how this goes this coming Friday, and I'm sure the Phillies will run our shot over Houston. Um, and of course, 
yesterday my Seahawks won. Seattle Seahawks won beat the Los Angeles Chargers. So, um, anyway, I will talk to you guys later. Be sure that you insist, persist, push back. And also, I encourage you to create your own voice, create your own platform voice, and join the, I call it the Blue Dot Network. And there are voices out there, and just, if people get mad, so what they get mad about it? They don't like hearing the truth. But you know what? I discover when people get mad, they think. It forces them to think. So, anyway, um, I will see you guys on Wednesday at the usual time at 1 o'clock. And be sure to insist, persist, and push back, and vote. And as I stated earlier, I voted. Oops. Look. Hold on a second. There we go. I voted. So, I did that today. I voted strictly Democratic. So... And I will talk to you guys later, and I love you all. And I'll see you at the uh, Blue Dot meeting tomorrow night. Okay? Love you. Bye-bye. Oh, another thing, too, real quick. I will uh, post this on my YouTube channel, too. So, under the same name, Fingers Ranch Show. Okay, see you later. Bye-bye.